to explain the relationship between the instrumental use of deceit and the collapse of civilizations. And that connection is way closer than people think, mm -hmm. you know. So one person is influences a thousand people, for sure, in their lifetime, and sometimes a lot more than that. And a thousand, you know, the next rung out from that, a thousand times a thousand is a million, and the next rung out from that is a billion. And so you're always at the center of a concentric circle that two rungs out contains a billion people. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out that what you do matters. And basically what I'm doing, as I hope, is touring and talking to people face-to-face -face in these lectures, for example, and making the case that it's a terrifying case. Everyone says, well, we want meaning in our life. It's a, <laughs> do you now? <laughs> do you now? Because you might ask yourself, what's the more threatening possibility? That nothing you do matters, which means you can pretty much do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. That's the upside of that nihilistic claim, no responsibility, right? And why, why not pursue narrow focused hedonism since nothing matters anyways. So that's the shadow of nihilism or everything you do matters. And it's a lot more terrifying to contemplate that is that you will be held accountable for everything you do. And I believe that firmly, partly as a consequence of my clinical experience. I never saw any one of my clinical clients ever get away with anything, even once. And you think, well, people get away with things all the time. It's like, no, they don't. They might gain a narrow advantage in one dimension in the short term. But, you know, let's say that you, you're, you use deceit in your business practices. First of all, that doesn't work very well because people will figure you out. So long as a long-term nope. as a, as a long strategy, right. it's terrible. Yep. It just doesn't work. Yep. No one is going to play with you if you're a cheat. But let's say that... Like someone, asked me, someone asked me the other day, well, what about these dictators that, that uh, you know, ruled their whole life and, and they were at the top of the hierarchy, let's say, and they had all the power. Stalin's a perfectly good example. It's like, didn't he win? Well, everyone Stalin ever talked to lied to him because they were absolutely bloody terrified of him. His country was a nightmare. It was a hell, or as close as we've been able to produce, with the possible exception of the Nazis and the Maoists, but it was up there in terms of hell. And did he rule? Yes, but he ruled hell. And if you think that's a victory, well, go ahead and try it. See how much of a victory it is. Mm -hmm. You know, Milton Satan said, I'd rather rule in hell than serve in heaven. It's like, fair enough, go ahead. Use deceit, use instrumentality, rule in hell. You'll be the ruler. See how much good it does you. See where that takes you. It takes you somewhere terrible.